What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? How's it going, everybody? My name is Multiplayer, ladies and gents. We are continuing our adventure through Lego Harry Potter year number six. I do apologize that there was a bit of a delay, but to be honest, Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville has completely taken over my entirety gaming life because I've been basically just playing that game the entire time. So if you guys have not checked those out, go check out those videos. I've had such an absolute blast recording that game. It is so, so, so much fun, and hopefully it only gets better from here on out. Now, of course, also, guys, I do want to welcome you guys back to a brand new LEGO Harry Potter video, and I would love to have your support via a thumbs up. So if you guys can go on ahead and leave a like down in the comment section below, or right before the comment section below by hitting that like button. I would very much appreciate that. Thank you guys so very much for that help. It really does mean a lot and it helps out the channel. We're getting very, very, very close to 2 million subscribers. And that is all, of course, in big part, thanks to your fantastic support. So with that all in mind, I also do think that we're probably nearing the end of year six of Lego Harry Potter, which means we're probably nearing the end of our adventure as a whole, because after this, of course, we have uh, year seven left, and that's it, right? I think at that point, we will have completed the Harry Potter adventure overall. Uh -oh. <laughs> it looks like Dumbledore's still struggling with this evil hand of his. The spell has been brought, and the enchantment has been activated. Harry Potter is about the time travel, correct? Wait, I could have sworn we had seen this. Why not? Oh, okay. What are these different items? Did you see that? There was like a ring, a jewel, what the heck? Is that all the more? Oh yeah, there's the items. There's the ring, the jewel, and the book. Oh, so we just need to find the medallion. Is that a Slytherin medallion? It sort of looks like a snake, right? Whoa! Dude, Dumbledore's a super save. Yeah, it's teleporting us across the planet, huh? Yeah, that's pretty fancy. And... Wait, is Dumbledore's wand like that? Like, with the three balls on it like that? That's pretty cool. We get a completely different style of wand compared to our hero with the three balls on Okay, so we can teleport over there using Dumbledore. In fact, that's the only thing we can do right now. I guess let's do exactly that. As for teleport, oh, this was actually the start of a brand new level. Cool. Wait, did Harry Potter just travel as well? He didn't, because he just now have the ability, right? Whoa. Okay, so that raises what seem like almost like these little bridges that we can use now to cross. Uh, now, Dumbledore also knows Defendo, so he should be able to just cast that onto this wall. Then we are gonna cut out like a martini glass sort of shape. Okay, let's see what we're gonna assemble here now. Uh, huh. oh, I wanna get that first. I wanted to make sure I didn't miss out on that. Okay, I'm very curious. Where does this go? Maybe it goes over here? Onto the screen. Thing? No, it does not. The problem is, I honestly would not even be able to begin to tell you what this thing is. Activated via the green spell. And 
and uh, it clearly is not. So we're just going to go on ahead and activate that in the correct order that it was enchanted. And that creates another bridge. This time, or actually, huh? I guess this time it's not really a bridge, it's a set of stairs that we can climb. So we have a staircase. I was going to say it's a drawbridge, but nope, it's just like a staircase of some sort. Alright, so I guess that's where our heroes shall proceed next. Fantastic, we did earn a bunch of studs. I'll check over here for our other studs. As many as we possibly can collect. Wait, this lift rolled the way back? Wait, so could we have just walked this way all along? We didn't have to do that entire loop all the way around. Oh, we need dark magic for these crystals up here. Okay, interesting. So that probably goes to the bottom. That looks like it's top right, top left, and then bottom left. Creepy, slithering looking skeleton with a giant snake in its mouth. That's not terrifying or anything. Where are all my studs? Okay. That is a problem. These studs just want to escape us. So here's the Horcrux and the Hand. I don't know what that's a reference to. I guess that's the name of this area. Okay. Can we get another bridge? This is the bridge episode, I swear. All we're doing the whole time is building bridges and stairs. Is there a purple stud I'm seeing back there? That matters or not. Maybe it was just this gem. Oh, it might have been just the gem there. Whoa! Okay. Well, that sends us flying. There's a second one of those. Oh, it's really cool how uh, the secondary character actually kind of lights the way for you using their wand. Again, nice attention to you, though, for sure. Makes things a little bit more epic. Okay. So it looks like we might need super strength for that. Oh, I see a purple stud in the water. Look at that. Nice. Look at that. That gets us really, 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 really close towards our true wizard rank. That is pretty astonishing. So here's another one of these gems. That's actually the fourth one. Now, oddly enough, that probably means that we have missed one somewhere. It's like part of me kind of wants to double back a little bit. And just check things out. Just to be very, very thorough to make sure that we didn't miss it. Although, again, I don't know where we would have been able to miss it. This one? Studs, but oh my goodness look at that we did miss it right at the very beginning and now we get the Gryffindor emblem that is very cool okay glad we went to double back there because we're able to get that done which is pretty sweet okay so next up we have this Stop. little Underwear. snake language puzzle again so red blue yellow green red blue yellow green so we solve that and And again, all in the same colors. Just like a Simon Says type game. Okay. Okay. That's easy enough. It is sort of a Simon Says type game. Now, 
managed to uh, achieve that goal of reaching the uh, true wizard rank at 35,000 points. Okay, so these things here, are we supposed to stand on them maybe? Uh huh. Okay, so that reveals what seems like a hidden pathway and a hidden area. This island in general is pretty great. There's only just rocks sticking out. Looks like almost like crystals, but they're actually all made out of rock, so not nearly as impressive, of course. Whoa! What the heck are these? Look at that! It's just large water. That's terrifying. Okay, uh... Let's not hang out over there for too long. Okay, so then we're supposed to stand on these two. Which then activates another hidden area. And this one has... Seems like some sort of a valve, maybe, or something like that. I don't even know how to describe that. Maybe that's supposed to be an air hydrant. Oh, never mind. It's an upside-down water bottle dispenser. No. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, no. Like the there's more. Pick up water. Wait, am I supposed to be five cups? Is that what we're doing right now? Okay, so the stakes have definitely got increased in 
the Harry Potter universe. That is pretty shocking, seriously. Okay, so it looks like some of our evil forces are just a little further up ahead. Uh oh. How can I? Okay, I should be able to just use Expecto. Control to defeat these spirits. Then we grab this. And this. Before we even chase down the enemies, we have to put out the flame, right? That makes sense. Okay, just to make sure that Hogwarts itself doesn't go down in ruins. Okay. Should be able to well, use Augmenti to power uh -oh. this thing up. Well, now what? Well, now what? How?